I believe I've seen Chapman in PKBs before, point kickboxing tournaments. Hunter Chapman out of Atlantic MMA and Hickory, the paler of the two men. All right, Jimenez versus Chapman underway here. 145 action in kickboxing. Touch your gloves. Two-minute rounds, as always. Jimenez holding his hands out wide. You can hold your hands out wide to invite punches. You can hold your hands out wide to help you see. He's keeping his hands wide and a little low. Chapman's hands started out much higher. And they immediately went And now they're, they're much lower. As soon as you start throwing. And Chapman is, has adopted both orthodox and southpaw stances so far. We don't have enough data to know for sure what his preferred stance is, but he's shown both stances. He's working low kicks now from orthodox. Yeah, David's a little heavy on that lead leg, and I think Chapman's just picked up on that. And, jo and Chapman is a Josh Crouch product. You know, Josh Crouch is a former Fight Fort champion. He tries the leg kick again. Jimenez reads it and hops out of, the, out of the way. And now the two men fainting kicks at each other. Jimenez with a big Superman punch that manages at least to get him in close. And he clinches and pushes him up against the fence. We get a quick break from our referee. That gear malfunction. Top 10. Mutual adjustment of the gear. And we're back underway. Hard low kick from Jimenez. Yeah, Jimenez trying to get back in there yeah. for a big shot. He caught Chapman just as Chapman was putting his weight on that leg, and it really stuck in there. Now Chapman's trying to find a, find a reach for his jab. He's woo front snap kick up the middle. He telegraphed it by stepping with the back foot, which is that's why those things usually miss. Again, he telegraphs that left kick by stepping up with the back yeah, foot. Got to got to set those up a little bit. Yeah, that f the the back foot moving up is a telltale sign someone's about to throw their lead leg because not everybody can just lift their lead leg and throw it without that. Great first round between these two featherweights. Yeah, good technical match so far. They're feeling each other out. Neither one of them really wanting to commit. Uh, Chapman did land, I believe, the majority of the leg kicks in that round. Chapman declines the ice. Well, to be to be truthful, the first time a guy fights, he doesn't know what he likes from the corner. That's true. You know, like That's true. You know, you, you see, you might be watching at home. You see, sometimes I see him put ice on their back, sometimes on their chest, sometimes on their groin, sometimes on their leg. Sometimes I see him elevate the leg. Some people stay standing. And yeah. It's like, how do you, how they, do you? Their pick? corner comes in. They're like, do you want to sit down? They're like, I don't know. Do I? That you Is have that no good? idea. Is that bad? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that, You're the coach. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> that that's exactly true. I got a guy with. He's he has four fights, and still, I'm like, do you want to stand or sit? And he goes, I don't know. I don't know. And then we just. He said, can we just see how we feel when we get in there? Just bring the stool. Yeah. Second round between Chapman and David Jimenez. Close first round Jimenez there. swinging wide with the left hook, but then finds a home for the right. Jimenez throw a low kick that's checked by Chapman. And those little bit of shin guards, it, that doesn't really do the trick. If you get one checked like that, it still hurts. And again, uh, he tries the front kick, but he just had to step his back foot up to throw it, and Jimenez shakes his head and says, you're not going to get me with that. But an overhand right does land. Jimenez is fainting kicks, and, uh, and again, so Jimenez misses that front kick by stepping that back foot up. Mm. It's an extremely common error, even among very, very good martial artists. Chapman using the... the Fainted kicks to get closer, but and the switch eat, stance. Yeah, and, but he eats a hard right for it. Yeah, you got to do something with that switch stance. You can't just show it and then not threaten. Jimenez has so much reach with that thing, and he's he's so accurate with that right hand. He's not. Oh, wobbled with a check hook from Chapman. Jimenez has been so accurate with that right hand, and he can send it from so far away. Now Chapman's making a mistake, giving Jimenez time to recover here. He's. I mean, Chapman's a one shot. Select, uh, you know, yeah. like he, he doesn't he doesn't set too many of his big shots up. All his big shots just kind of come. They just kind of come out of nowhere. 
And Jimenez hasn't 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 thrown, done anything. But Chapman has so much respect for him. He's not not on the attack here. They're a little bit. They're jawing back and forth. I don't know what about. Jimenez looking probably for that right hand. Boom, and he finds it. Chapman's arms are just so much shorter than Jimenez. That reach disparity is really evident between these two guys. Chapman loading up. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was like a cartoon. He power. He was powering up his punch yeah. there. And right hand. That was like a cartoon character throwing a punch. Yeah, so what you're seeing in... Also, just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot... You can take pictures, but make sure your flash is off. Please make sure your flash is off. Thank you. Who doesn't know that? Who doesn't know no flash photography? You'd be surprised, Mike. You'd be really, oh. really surprised. Round three coming up. What we're seeing, the telegraph has been an important part of this match so far. The telegraph being anything that a person does before they throw the strike that tells their opponent they're about to throw the strike. And both of these men have been telegraphing their shots and a lot's been missing, except Jimenez has a right hand that has no telegraph on it. By the time he's pulled his head offline, it's already on its target, and he's extremely accurate with it. Whereas Yet, Chapman's throwing from Japan. Yeah, so he's, he's making his shots very, very obvious. And he, he caught him in that wild exchange with that right hook and wobbled him, but then gave him time to recover. He also made Jimenez a little mad, I think. Like, yeah. he woke him up a little bit, made him yes. realize he's in a fight. Yeah, and Jimenez's ring presence, you know, his, like, like his demeanor is, it could be intimidating. You know, he's, like, talking a little bit to him. He's, he looks him in the eyes. Round three, last round here between these two guys. And it just feels like as the fight goes on, the momentum is just shifting ever so slightly in the favor of Jimenez. Jimenez finding a right, left, right, left. And he, he has Chapman's attention. Like, Corner is telling Jimenez, you just got to stop getting a wild. See what I mean about that ring <laughs> presence? <laughs> And I don't mean in the sense of ring generalship. I mean like stage presence, like your demeanor in there. You can weaponize that. Because your, your opponent is scared, and he wants to believe that you are too. Yeah, absolutely. That, and you might be, but you yeah. got to put on the air if but you're if you, not. If you convince him you're not. <laughs> it, it's a mental win for sure. Now, Jimenez, I don't think has missed a right hand in this fight. But this round, he's not throwing as many of them. Well, I think, yeah, his corner said stop throwing wild, so maybe he just can't throw it unless he's it was, throwing wild. Well, the left was the wild one. Yeah, I he agree. Would, he'd throw his left super wide, and then the right, like a laser, like yeah. a rocket. And he did it again there as well. And now there's been oh, a couple man. times where Chapman's complained about something, like he's been touching his head or complaining about his headgear or something. Well, it's, it's pretty awful gear, so, I mean, I can't blame him. It looks like it tries to slide off his head with every shot. Hard low kick from Jimenez, and then he screams, come on. And then Chapman comes on, and then Jimenez backs away. So Yeah, that, I mean, he's done that the whole fight. <laughs> oh! Nice shot. Finally, Chapman lands a solid one, trying to earn Him the respect of Jimenez. Yeah, he, he's, he's too gun shy. Anytime Jimenez moves, he runs across. He runs away. He has given Jimenez wide berth. Hard push kick, and then another. Now those left kicks, <laughs> him and I said, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean those things I said earlier. I was just trying to get you to swing, bro. <laughs> I was just trying to get you to bang. What a fight. Nice performance by Jimenez, absolutely. Great job there. Yeah, this this is it. What we saw on display here is stage presence or ring presence. You know, actually having a Winning material a effect. Yeah. yeah, a material effect because it affected Chapman's performance. Yeah. People, if if I'm convincing you that you're losing, you've done. We've done half the work. Mm -hmm. If you're convinced you're losing, I just have to convince the judges now. Yeah, and you're gonna help me do it now. Yeah. <laughs> Good, good psychological warfare from Jimenez. I don't know how much of it is intentional or how much of it is just truly his personality shining through. I'm guessing it's the, the latter. I think that's just him. Because <laughs> he didn't turn it off. He's still got that swagger to him. <laughs> yeah. 
fighters to the center of the cage. I, like, I respect this guy who's working the cage door's dedication. He locks it even during the post fight, the post fight yeah. stuff. He's yeah, like, I'm locking this. Our judges have come to a decision, and you are winner, fighting out of the red corner, David Emanuel. Excellent fight. fight there, Hannah Hannah Chapman. Nice it. round of applause for Mr. Chapman also. Both fighters, heck of a fight. Yeah, Chapman had a good performance. He just couldn't make up for that reach disparity on the on those right hands. Yeah, you just got to be a little bit more willing to engage against the longer fighter. You got to be willing to more, like, consistently try to put yourself inside. And I, I bet if we had a counter on the kicks, the number of kicks landed, Chapman probably landed plenty of kicks, but he was just acknowledging Jimenez's. He was backing up when Jimenez would kick at him, and yeah. Jimenez was ignoring Chapman's kicks. Whether or not they hurt, they might have hurt the same. They might have done the same amount of damage, but Jimenez didn't show any of that. Yeah, no, no. He was poker facing the entire time. Looked unfazable. 